Hi my amazing planner friends, it's Jess from My Magical Planner and today is subscription day. So I have my Sterling Ink subscription here. I do get her $35 a month subscription, so it's kind of her middle subscription. She has one that includes a little bit more and one that includes a little bit less. This one fits my needs perfectly, so that's what I was stuck with. And it comes with a variety of different stickers that you can pretty much use in any planner. So it's super versatile. She has two paper options. I get her transparent paper, which is like a washi paper that completely blends into the paper underneath. So with all that all being said, this came yesterday and I'm excited to see the designs for this month. So let's get into it. Ooh, this month we have white and this is kind of your first clue to whatever the design is going to be so we have some sp oh maybe it's this way does it go which way does it go but we have some spoons there it looks like some daisies a lot of white and green and a little bit of silver so i'm going to guess that our foil color is silver let's see and I love that she wraps it each month in a different tissue paper it's like this present that comes each month and it's so beautiful the care she puts into the packaging you can use something like undo to get the sticker off if you want to reuse it um, I just haven't taken the time to do that but I think these stickers are beautiful and they are on a thicker paper here so I'm just gonna rip it over here I keep meaning to go back and do that but I haven't <laughs> so pretty. Oh, it does look like this plastic kind of cut itself a little bit but no big deal. This is your primarily your stickers and then you have some vellum pieces in here as well as some larger sticker elements. So I always start with this part first. Oh, it says June in here, so it must be, it, it's usually the month before, so this must be March's subscription. <laughs> it's so hard for me sometimes to keep them all straight. But we have our Monday through Sundays here, and you get five sets of them, so definitely more than you would need for a month. And if you look, actually, let me move this out of the way for a minute. Oh, I got extra vellum. But... If you look, each each Monday is a little bit different. Like you get some that are just plain Mondays, but you also get ones that have, like this has a little flower on it that has some greenery. And it just all depends. If you wanted ones that had every week having, or every day, sorry, having something, you could totally put that together. A lot of times it's a little much. So it's nice to have a couple of days that are, like this week you have Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday that have special elements. This one's Monday, Wednesday and Saturday, Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday. So it just all depends, but it's nice to have the variety. And they're all contour cut just around the day. So that's the first thing. And then you also get this, which has each day for the month along with the date. So if you're doing like a journal or something like that where you don't have any dates, this works really well. This is, I think, designed specifically for her common planner, but you can use it in just about anything. Then you have your June vellum sheet. This has your calendar on it with June and the very beautiful designs. These make great dashboards and just they're so pretty. And then along with that, you usually get two pieces of vellum. I'm guessing two stuck together and I ended up with three. I'm not sad about it. And these work great for crafts or if you're going to do more journaling type stuff where you maybe cut something out and put it in and that kind of thing. And you usually get one that is a little bit more simple and just has some florals on it. And then something with some background images this month that looks like lace. 
to go with it, which is really pretty. Then we kind of have the meat of our kit here. So let's take this out of here. If that wants to come out, well, maybe we'll just take it out that way. <laughs> so inside here we have our smallest stickers. This will be like our monthly script and things like that. So we always get like a little sampler. And let me let me zoom you guys in so you can get a better look at these. So this is her little sampler. It has a little bit of everything from the kit. So you have this cute little design here with the spoons. This is that same design that we saw on the tissue paper on the outside. We have a cute teapot. This, I want to say it's an iris. <laughs> it's very pretty. And then we also have like this element, which is a very spring flower that I do not know, but it's white and little puppies <laughs> and greenery. And then we have something combining the two with a straight edge at the bottom here. Next, we have our June scripts. You get two of them. And I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera, but there is some lace behind the June here. And then you have that green and white flower in there as well as there is a bloom right here. It kind of blends in a little bit, but very, very pretty. And then these are your last two elements in there. This is a vellum sticker that has your June calendar on it. So if you want to get in the corner of say a monthly spread you could do that and then this is her business card these are on a really really thick paper and of course there's all of her information there on the back but I just love how decorative these are you can always add them to the front of your planner kind of as decoration in one of the little pockets if you have your planner in a case or something like that I tend to use them as bookmarks a lot of times but they are just really pretty so she puts a lot of work into each one of her kits. And then we have all of our elements and we'll start with the smaller elements. So we have a couple of like some pages have foil and some pages don't. This is an unfoiled page and it just has some bigger floral cluster or individual elements. So you do have like this is a sprig of whatever plant that is. You have some irises here. I love the purpley color along with the blue. It just looks really nice. And then we have little spots of these. These ones are daisies. I don't know what these ones are. So super pretty. And then you also get your date dots. Very functional. These are just very simple square cut dates. They blend into everything and work really nicely. And then we have are oh you know what I'm missing something this month as well I do not have my unless it's still in here oh it is okay <laughs> we'll get to that in a second <laughs> these are smaller deco pieces so you have like a record player the teapot and spoons another teapot but you also have some smaller floral elements to work with Next, we have these three sheets, which are foiled with silver foil. I don't know how well that'll come across, but it's super pretty. It's just kind of this sprinkling across them. So we have some scenes here. These work great in the corner or on your day on one pages if you're using them in a Hoban if you're using them in a Hobonichi or for journaling pages, that kind of thing. Then we have some bigger kind of clusters of flowers through here as well as some decorative elements the bathtub here looks really cute and then we kind of have these trim type elements so some of them have straight lines so this one has a straight line across the bottom you have a straight line across the top and there are straight lines between the two of these as well as a couple of other elements so in case you wanted to extend any of those then we have our last three pieces and these two are identical so the first one is just some larger floral elements and a nice scene here this month we have 
kind of a look into like a parlor or something and there's a umbrella out here some really nice greenery with the plants and I love these elements as well and then our last two sheets here are our floral trims or washi ones so these generally come with you have one longer strip that goes along here so you get two because you have two sheets of it and then you have some sporadic ones throughout here that you could combine to make a strip or add on to other elements and then you have two shorter ones here there's one that's about this big and one that's about that big that you can use as trims along whatever side you want or as washi whatever works for you so love those and then the elements I forgot to take out of there. So we always get a thicker sticker. This is on um, almost like a waterproof paper. I'm not sure if it actually is waterproof, but kind of a thicker sticker that you could use on the outside of your planner or that kind of thing. This month it's the record player with some daisies, which is really pretty. And then you also get your monthly tabs. So this is June's. And two of them will have some kind of decoration, usually a floral or something on them. And two of them will be plain. It gives you more than enough for whatever planner you're using and is really, really nice. So that's everything I have for my Sterling Ink subscription this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.